Hey, this is Matt once again. We're about to do the video. This is a paid request. This time for Anton. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. And for those interested in requesting any type of videos, topics, reactions, reviews, commentaries, whatever it may be, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. And this is for The Snow Walker from 2003, which is based on a story by Farley Moat called Walk Well, My Brother. It's directed by Charles Martin Smith. Now, Charles Martin Smith was an actor. He was in films like Starman. He was in The Untouchables. He was the accountant guy, smaller guy, that joined the Kevin Costner in them. And he's also a director. He directed a very underrated film called 50-50 with Peter Weller, Robert Hayes, a film I wish got a Blu-ray. Very fun movie. And he directed this. He has a bit role at the very beginning, but the, the film is Barry Pepper, who I liked as an actor, and Sally, I think starring in Battlefield Earth really hurt him, because that's one of the few times he got to star in a film, especially a big budget film, because usually he would appear in supporting roles in Enemy of the State, in Saving Private Ryan. But he did a really good job here. He had the charm and the nice range of emotions. And he's an underrated actor. Battlefield Earth is not his fault. You look at the way John Travolta looks. You look at the idiotic story. The director, every damn shot, is at a Dutch angle. And if you put Sylvester Stallone or Arnold Schwarzenegger in that role, it would still suck. If you put Al Pacino James Woods in that role, it would still suck. It's not Barry Pepper's fault. He couldn't save it. But, he, so again, it's sad he didn't get a lot of like big starring roles. Because he's a really good actor. I like Barry Pepper. He plays a pilot. It's around the 1950s, give or take. And he's piloting around the Canada's Northern Territories. And he's, you know, that's a time where, well, it is every time Sally, but, you know, there's a bit of roughness with other races, the Inuit and other cultures. So at one point, he's going to go on a run, go a little bit of vacation, go to a spot. He drops down to do some stuff, and one thing leads to another, he's kind of softly push into helping the Inuit take this sick lady to the hospital. He's like, I don't want anything to do with it. She's got, like, tuberculosis. And they say, hey, we have these white tusks. Oh, wow, these are worth a lot. Okay, fine, I'll do it. He does it. There's an accident. The plane crashes. And it's a survival story where these two learn to work together I'm so glad they don't force a romance in there. That was refreshing. And Barry Pepper and this lady, I wanted Annabella Diogother. I'm sorry, I'm butchering her last name. I do not know. I don't know. Pio Gother? With my shitty right, I don't even know if I wrote D or P. Pio Gother? D I think I meant the right P. Pio Gother. Annabelle, I'll say Annabella, because I, I can't butcher her name. Again, with my shitty writing chicken scratches. I don't know if I wrote a D or a P for his, <laughs> the first of her last name. Which is sad because I really liked her, Annabella. I'll call her Annabella. I really thought she was sweet. She... You really felt sorry for her. She was very likable and her kindness and you just really bought why extremely why Barry Pepper's character was softed and then really, really respect her and respect her survival skills. It's a beautiful looking movie. I mean, this has a lot of beauty shots of that territory. Of the wilderness and the animal life and the lakes and the two friendship grow as they try to survive. And at one point, Barry Pepper says, You stay, I'll go for help, but he's over his head. And at one point he's attacked by mosquitoes, and he runs and it cuts his feet all up. But she finds him, she tends to his wounds and his feet. He makes some stuff to put on his feet. 
and you know this roughness to Barry Pepper's character, especially at the very beginning in this scene where he's playing pool and he treats someone badly that he shouldn't. But you you do grow to like the character. That he has a warmth to him, and I yeah, the two of them, their interactions, the way you, like you you just buy the growing friendship and respect. And especially from Barry Pepper respecting her a lot more. And the way she cares for a stranger and the way she helps out and respects her ability to hunt and and in the beautiful vast landscape and the way Charles Barn has shots where it's so wide the purse is like this tiny I'll put, the purse is like this tiny on the screen. That's how far back they are. And you get these beautiful shots of just this little tiny figure walking along this the old vast landscape. And I even like the orchestral music. Some people don't like it. I thought it fit with the themes and the the uh, emotional palette of the movie. The only issue I have, really, is from time to time, the movie cuts away from the two of them. I do think that was the biggest mistake the film made. I still like the film. I thought it was a pretty decent movie. I would give it at least three and a half out of five stars at the very least. If it did this, it probably would have gotten four. Because five out of five, those are like for my favorite, 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 favorite movies. But it does this thing where it keeps coming back to the public world. What I mean by that is James Cromwell, who's in Babe, he was in The General's Daughter, he's been a lot of stuff. He is Barry Pepper's boss, and he was friends with him, and he's worried about him. You have this girl who Barry Pepper shacked up with a little bit at the beginning, um, and you know she's a bit worried about him, of course. You have John Grease. Some people say Grice. He was the guy who's the werewolf of the Monster Squad. He was in Napoleon Dynamite. He plays this rival pilot who kind of gl he's glad that Barry Pepper's gone so that he can get the jobs. And there's a part where James Cromwell pretty much tells him to piss off and leave, go. The thing is, none of that really amounts to anything. They don't find Barry Pepper. Uh, at one point, John Grease and the guy's looking for him. Nothing really comes up for him and the girl. Nothing really comes of it. Sorry about that. Phone call I had to take. No, my stupid ass. I'm not going to remember to take that out. And be like, whoa, what a jump. What a great, clean edit. Yeah, but I was cleaning this plain ass and these tears went in. But I think I was saying about how I do think one flaw of the film is when they cut away from the lead characters and they go to... James Cromwell's a good actor. I like John Grease and, you know, Monster Squad and Napoleon Dynamite, but nothing was interesting about that story. Nothing was interesting about that plot. Nothing really was happening. It was just, we looked for them, we didn't find them. James Cromwell gives a speech. That's it. And it's like, I don't know why we need to take the focus away from... Barry Pepper and Annabella because the audience doesn't care about James Cromwell what he thinks the audience doesn't care about this rival pilot and then that really goes nowhere it's like Charles Martin Smith wasn't comfortable in just letting these two characters be the entire rest of the film in their predicament their point of view we see what they see we feel what they feel and we're with them every step of the way it's like oh Maybe the audience will think this is too boring, so we gotta go all these other... No, 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 no. That No, Charles Martin Smith. The stuff, that's boring. There's nothing to it. Keep us with our two leads. They're the characters we care about. They're the characters we care the most about. Their predicaments, what's interesting about the film. Their survival. The other shit doesn't matter. So I think, honestly, you can make an edit of the film and cut all that stuff out. 
And I think it would actually be better. If, ever, if someone ever edits that version, I do think it would be a better movie. And I think you could do it pretty easily. The only thing is, you know, there's a speech at the end that'd be hard to do. But you could keep that. Like, fine, keep two scenes. One where they're told he's missing. And then a second scene where... Boom. Anyway. That's, I did really my only issue with the film. But yeah, the, the survival aspect... There's not a lot of action for those expecting action. It's not like they go up against wolves and other you know, villainous creatures or animals in the wilderness. It's not like the gray or anything. Although I like this more than the gray. Like I said, it's more about this friendship, despair, trying to survive, working together to survive, which is a nice, simple, great message. And like I said, this, the bond these two form was believable, was uh, endearing. And like I said, the fact they didn't go with the typical romantic angle. Uh, the fact they got such a very nice persona from this lady that I, because I'd never heard of her before. I don't know what else she's done before or since. And... There's never really a lot of stuff where let's stop and piss around and fight and she fights and it's like what the fuck are you guys doing? There's no time for that. They don't go that route, which was refreshing. The only times is when, again, Barry Pepper's just in despair and he's just yelling at himself, and that's understandable in that predicament. But other than that, it's keep our heads clear and work together. So there are two lead performances, beautiful shots from either far away or from, like I said, the, the landscapes, the, the, there's a bit where they're having to capture caribou to survive through the winter. It's shot very competently. Uh, the, the ending has a nice emotional core to it. Uh, like I said, The Snow Walker I thought was a pretty damn decent film pretty heartfelt film that how do I put it it's a film I never really heard of and I think I saw this cover a few times when I worked at the video store but I just never bothered with it because I didn't know what it was uh, but I'm glad to have seen it at least once and in the super spoilers Bear with me right now. Super spoilers. This is a nice bit where Annabella knows a little bit of English and is telling the story about someone she knew and someone left and went out to die so that the other would have enough food. And there's a reason she has these stars that the person was dying. She fed her, fed the person her blood. And as they're working together, they're getting through the snow. She's spitting up blood because she's sick. And then she does the thing where Barry Pepper wakes up. She's gone. He's trying to find her and can't find her anywhere. And you find out that she walked off so that she doesn't slow him down. And she, he has enough food. And then you've seen how he's changed as a character. Because earlier in the film, they find another plane and a dead pilot. They bury it in the way I guess Inuits do it, including possessions. And Barry Pepper's like, well, why? He's not going to need this stuff. But then by the end, she, he makes the same thing for her. And he puts his stuff, including these tusks that he's been wanting. And he, you know, it's a growth without having to beat you over the head. But it's a growth of telling the audience... This stuff doesn't matter. You know, the tusk, that doesn't matter. Give her stuff for the afterlife. Like, in a way, respecting her culture. It shows that he's the truest way of him growing respect for her. That even though there's no one around to watch it, even though these tusks would be worth a lot of money, 
that's not what matters. And so he does that and makes it out, and there you go. End of movie. I said the orchestral music fit the film fairly well. I keep repeating the, the landscape and the shots because it is a beautiful looking movie. Um, where I saw it, it was in standard quality. I would imagine this would look wonderful in HD quality. I don't even know if this has a Blu-ray or, or what have you. Again, it's a film no one really knows about, heard of, or remembers. But yeah, this was, if you like Barry Pepper, if you like survival stories, like I said, it's not a lot of action, but, I mean, I give away the ending, but I did say spoilers. Just here's the thing, like, these requests are really for the person who paid for them. And the person who paid for them have actually seen them, so I want to talk as in-depth as I can to that person, like Anton. For those out there who haven't seen it, that's why I say spoilers, and you can stop and watch the film if you want. So yeah, the two leads were great. The no romance stuff was refreshing. There's, there's a lot of movies I've tried to force that in. Even the, I like the film Daylight with Sylvester Stallone, but then they try to force this romance, like this girl and Stallone. I'm like, no, 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 you don't need this shit. I don't buy it. And there's other movies that do that. This didn't, that was, I think, a good note. How it relates to the short story, I don't know because I never read it. And uh, it, like I said, it really made me wish Barry Pepper got to do more. Like, I, th in different routes. I wish Barry Pepper was like a cop in a thriller, serial killer movie, and he was the lead. Or uh, you know, murder mystery drama like uh, Wind River, and he would play like the Jeremy Renner part. Although I like Wind River. I, I, it would have been nice to see more of him. And because this shows that he's a very capable lead guy. It was great to see him have a good part. So they like say if you're a fan of Barry Pepper, you like beautiful landscape shots and a good straightforward survival story. Again, to repeat one last time because I always have a bad thing of repeating myself. I apologize. Take out the stuff with going back to James Cromwell and John Grease, the pilot, and other stuff. You don't need all that. Stick. Or if you want to have the same running time, add in some more obstacles. Add in some battles with wolves. Or add in some uh, physical detriments that you got to overcome obstacles to more of the survival story. If you want to add a little bit of action at the end of some animals that could attack them. You can if you want. But again, it's not trying to be that type of survival story. Which is fine, because oh, at the end of the day, it was still a nice little surprise. Because like I said, I'm like, the Snow Walker, what's this movie? Oh, dear, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. So thanks once again, Anton. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, and we will see you guys later. Bye-bye.